Hey guys, Saki Stamps here here with a uh, show video. I don't got too much, but I got some equipment. Uh, so I just set it off. I keep all my equipment I don't I'm not using in here. So I'll start with the worst to best stuff, I guess. So here I got these V Box. They're like the SC, the SC three, the Cindy Crosby. Uh, thing, Sydney Crosby line. They're actually really good. They're they're pr they're not they're good if you want like a slim fit. You don't care that much about protection. Like they have a lot. Of, they have protection right here. Like here, this is just like foam. Here, there's not a slash guard. It's just like foam. It's not the it's not the best, but they're pretty solid. There, and they are junior large. So yeah, they're pretty good. And here's the other one. They're good condition. It is the only thing that you couldn't say that's pretty bad is right there. Like it doesn't even matter. I could take that off. It has like a C87 logo from Reebok. And he, if you didn't know, Reeboks are basically Jofos in a way. So there's some people say they're really similar to Jofo. And by all means, Jofo has the best protective gear on the like on the lines you can get them. Next, these are actually good. I just outgrew them. I really like them. They are iTech 955PLs. You cannot buy these anywhere else. They're really nice. They have, uh, here you can see it, the bicep thing. It's pretty cool. We got this one big strap here. Not huge, but like the one strap there. The next one on that side, that stuck there. Then you have a really good spinal frame. It has like, it goes like this, so it's like, you, you can breathe. And there's tons of padding in this. It's full of padding. One here, here. These are all like plastic inserts. Then here on the chest, got one big one here. And then a couple more here. And the straps, you're not really supposed to do this. They, they come, I have... The thing if you want that goes like right here, it goes like on the belly. Oh, that's the back right here that goes like on the belly. That piece that see how there's Velcro there? I don't use them, so I took them off, but I have it up in my room if you wanted it. And these are size junior large, and they have great protection, like right on the collarbone. I went to the store and I showed the guys these. The guy that went similar. They said the total ones are pretty similar. These and he said these. You're not gonna find a pair like these. They have the best collarbone protection stuff like that. And they're like they look kind of new from here. They're pretty new. And they are uh, like this, the only thing that's dirty. It's on this one strap here. It looks like that. It's just some. It's just string stuck in there. And like it's like this thermal max, kind of like the bio thermal max, but I text version. It's called ICO technology. It's pretty good. Uh, here I got some skates. These are pretty good skates. Like they're pretty good actually. And no rust on the blades whatsoever. Then they're bio vapor. They're bio vapor LTX pros with some nice blue laces. I yeah, I just some nice blue laces. Uh, it, it's like a, it's not the thinnest ton, but it's not bad. They're used only one season, and they, I don't think you can see it, but they actually have the X60 inserts. Because I just got my pair of X60s, and I have super feet, so I put the X60 ones in here. So that's kind of different. You don't have the LTX ones, you have the really good, you have the really good bad ones that have, like, the foot cushioning grip on them. Uh, the only thing in both of the, like, and they're kind of weird. They, I could, you could say they're kind of like almost custom. You can't see them here, but they actually have look kind of greenish. The gray faded a bit, and it's green now. I'm not sure. If, you can't see that. It looks gray, but like right off here is like kind of like a greenish. It looks pretty cool. I wish I could keep them in a thing with my X6U kind of like this because my team colors are my new team colors are green and red. And like my old ones are blue, so that's obviously. And the tongue's not flopped. It's not flopped. I didn't tuck my shin pads. I don't tuck my shin pads over it. 
So, like, if you were to tuck it, it would be pretty easy, I guess. So, and I'll show you the blade, because I know a lot of you guys will look at it. There's not one single fan of rust. There's, like, it needs to be sharpened, I think. But, uh, yeah. Here, I just want to show you guys, and they're really nice. The only thing they have, right, is that thing there. They chipped some of the plastic here. Chip. They not chip, but like got ripped off. Someone skate. Someone stepped on their skate. When I was playing, like they hit me. And on the bottom, it just has the really hard bower end of the boot. This is the first one. Second one. Oh, and also the tender wood here. It's really thick. Like you can't. You can barely bend them pretty good this this boots looking a bit better like it doesn't have any rips in it and this is like not the best material it's not like the hard material but yeah I'm being totally honest with you it's not the best material hard boot like no cuts blades looking amazing because again they're only one year old and I got them when the, the new type of vapor boot came out it's the L L speed, light speed 2 blade. Of, like, yeah, it's nice. It says X there. It has an X there for vapor. Like the X series and stuff, but these are LTX Bros. Yeah, blue laces. So you got blue laces. Is that since you get into that? And this is my old helmet. Again, one year. I only had this for one year. I This was a great helmet. I really liked it. But I had the helmet I have more now. But yeah, so it is a uh M eleven and if you're wondering this isn't black. It actually it looks very similar. It's hard to tell I think it actually might be black. Am I fucking numb? Okay. This is definitely like black I don't know it's really hard to say now and this is this is really bad lighting but it's in this in the light it's more bluish can't really see it but there see doesn't that look like uh you can see a bit blue actually it's blue though don't get me wrong yeah it's blue because you put it here it's black and you put it near here it's like nah it's blue I was right I just haven't seen it in a while it's blue, so it's an M11. It is size small. You can't see it, but I know because I had it before. I'll just take off that sticker, actually. There. No difference. Take off the C sticker. Just keep that one on. Yeah, but it's a silver. This is uh, the uh, Kakin M11. I know the new... Pro M11 came out, yeah. So uh, and this is really nice foam inside. It's like this gray foam technology. I'll even show you. I like got a has here. Can't oh, it, you can't really see it, but it has these like like bumpy things. I don't know what to call them, but they're quite handy and good, and it really fits well. And it expands right here at the back. This frame. And you just take this and you go open it and open it. It gets bigger and bigger. It actually somehow just I don't know. Oh, just from back here, right here. Pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go price this really quickly. Uh, do I'll do sixty or fi I'll go down. It, de it depends. Person who messaged me about it. Like, I'll say 60 right now. It's navy blue. Small, junior small again. Then I have these. iTech 955TL. Shoulder pads, really nice, protective. Uh, I'll, gi I'll give these for 20. I'm not changing the price on these one bit. 20 bucks, that's it. what I'm asking for. These skates. Here, I'll take the other one too. These skates. I'm asking like 100 for because they're only one use 
one year old and they have the X60 inserts plus they come with blue laces that's not much but uh and plus I paid 200 for these and only a year old great condition no rust on the bed whatsoever the bay is not shortened it's a good size great boots they don't like say anything you may not think they're big because they're LTX pros but they are really light and also these things are like the LTX pros are actually one of the top or like one of the high end like some of the LTX pro stuff is pretty big so again 100 and I have these elbow pads again they're really good for like comfort they're really comfortable I'll keep them if I had them if I had the size really comfortable hard to like that elbow like your elbow won't get hurt hit your funny bone they're really hard so I'm only going to ask 10 or 15, like $15, but you can PM me about that also. So yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe.